Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca. So we are at Salvation Army and we're gonna be thrifting for 80s Vogue. I have a list here, which is why I have my little notebook. I looked at lots of old photos and here are my favorites. There's this really cute cowboy outfit that I love. I love her hat, I love her jacket, I love her shirt. There's lots of outfits with like ruffles on the sleeves and along the neckline and like the shoulders. So we'll definitely be looking for ruffles. There's obviously jackets with like huge shoulder pads everywhere. I don't know if I love shoulder pads. I don't think they really work on me, but maybe we'll find something. I don't know. There's lots of gold hardware and jewelry, specifically this one photo where she's wearing lots of like gold rings. I thought would be cute to recreate. They're always wearing leather, especially brown, and they're always accentuating their waist with belts, specifically wide belts. So that's everything we're gonna look for. So let's go inside and see what we can find. So we're starting off in the jackets, and there's not really any specific jackets I'm looking for, really just like leather ones. I feel like the pattern of this is really 80s and we could definitely make it work. It's so small, let's do the mediums too. This pink suit that you guys loved is still here, should I get it? It would be really 80s. They did often wear suits and like especially bright colors like this. So I am all over the place, but look at these shoes. I wish they fit me. They're so cute. I feel like I picked these up last time actually. Maybe not, but oh my goodness. I really like the shape of them. Okay, I keep running into things. The shoes were over there and now I'm over in the sleepwear and these pants got the corner of my eye and they're cotton and they're made in Canada and they just look so flowy. I really want them. I like how big the pockets are. And you know, with the cinch waist and how wide they are, I feel like we could make them 80s. Um, I'm probably gonna get them. Uh -oh. Okay, let's focus. I am gonna look at the suits now. I really should have said two-piece sets, but like the suits are here. Look how cute this one is with its dress. Oh my gosh. It has silver pads too, so that's good. Very 80s. This top is definitely vintage. Look at these ruffles around the neckline. This is kind of what we're looking for, for like an 80s vibe. Um, I wish it fit me. So while we're here, we're gonna look at the shoes. It's really small. I don't normally find anything, but then we're gonna look at the bags. I didn't really look into like 80s footwear trends, um, so I can't really give you advice on that. I have a feeling they would wear something like this. They love their leather, they love their croc and their gold and like just lots of adornments. I feel like they would love this. Last time I was here, I found a really cool Tommy bag. So let's look, I don't know, it looks so small. It's not very much of a selection, but this is very cute. We obviously have to look at the belts because they use belts all the time and I'm seeing quite a few. I like this yellow one and I like this thick beaded one. I think this one is like too heavy duty for me. It feels too much like actual chains and I don't like that. <laughs> This is so 80s with like the fur, <laughs> very cute. So I wasn't gonna look into sweaters, but I did, and I found a few that I actually kind of like. I'm not sure I'm gonna get any of them though. This is oatmeal, I don't think it's my color. These are all merino, so I'm gonna see if they're itchy for me or not. And then we're gonna go through the dresses. The dresses where I think will have lots of luck with like patterns and shoulder pads. Do I get it? I really like it. It's nice and light, so it would be good for summer. But I don't know how good this color is on me. I just, I feel like I look better in like brighter, saturated colors. I don't know what to do. Okay, so we moved on to the long dresses and this one is cute with all the beading. But then you move on to this lace one and look how 80s it is. It's got the shoulder pads, the lace is perfect, it's got the buttons. 
Oh my gosh, look at that bag. It is a corset. It's a lace up, how cute. So let's check out the very small lingerie section. I am devastated this nightgown doesn't fit me, but it is so cute with like a tool. About to go through with the tank tops. So I found this ruffly top here with like a rosette in the middle. It feels like lingerie. It also feels like it's from Belle's closet. I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like it's definitely like part of our theme. It also is a new tag. But guys, am I really gonna wear this? Maybe to bed. Actually, it is kind of cute. I don't know. I don't know. Let's check out the t-shirts now. Sometimes they have good things like polos. This just caught the corner of my eye and I think it's really cute. Also very 80s. Because I found these two tops, I kind of want to go through the long sleeve blouses just to see what they have because these are really good finds. So I did find a couple tops. This one is white and embroidered, which I love. And this one is pink and so Let's check out the skirts now. Again, just looking for things that are like very bold and loud and gold. Um, things that like come in at your waist and are really wide at the hips because they really seem to like to like accentuate their curves. Kind of like the 50s really. This is very much like a purple blue 80s color. I don't think I'm gonna get it though. I love this skirt. It's white. It has like a flounce at the bottom and these like swirl patterns on it. It's vintage. I just don't know if it will fit me. I'm in the jeans now and in terms of like 80s Vogue, I feel like they often didn't really wear jeans. But in the 80s, I think they wore like high-waisted mom jeans. These are really cute. I don't know what the brand is, but they were made in the US, which I like. These are like right on the edge of fitting me along the neck and the waist. But I do think like the hips are just gonna be too tight. Like I feel like I've seen pants like this before, thinking they would fit me, and they did not fit me. So we're not gonna get them. Okay, so there was nothing there. So I think we just have one section of capris and one section of blouses to go through, and then we have to make decisions. Okay, time to make decisions. Okay, so we are back and we are ready to do the try on haul. 80s fashion is kind of tough for me. It's not really my favorite, but like any decade, I do think it does have some cute points to it. And I think I made some actually really good outfits. So let's get into the haul. So the first thing that I styled is this white embroidered top. I absolutely love this. It reminds me of something Rachel wore in Friends. I was looking for embroidery a couple weeks ago. So it was just perfect timing. There is no tags on it, but I feel like it's probably vintage. I don't know why. I just think it probably is. But anyways, the outfit I'm wearing, I based off of like this photo from 80s Vogue, obviously, where this woman is wearing like a white top and then these clothes with like a big belt and like a jacket with massive shoulders. So anyways, I knew I had to wear this with like the only clothes I own. And then I was looking in my belt. I had this green belt that was part of like a dress. And then I thought I'm just gonna use the dress as the jacket. And plus 80s Vogue has a lot of trench coats that have this kind of look to it. The green and the gold is very 80s. I added lots of gold rings on my fingers like that one photo. I actually really don't mind it. I think it's kind of cute and it seems really 80s. This next item you guys is so good. It is this lace dress. Oh my goodness, I fell in love with it in the store. I'm pretty sure that this is vintage. Just based off of the style with like the shoulder pads and the lace up back, um, there are no tags on it again. It has nice pearl like buttons down the front and it didn't come with a slip, but thankfully I had like a perfect silk slip that completely matched it. I saw a couple lace dresses in like 80s Vogue and particularly this black one. I kind of based the look off of this. I saw that she was wearing like a pearly necklace. So I wore a pearly necklace. And then I had these vintage Swarovski crystal crystal pearl earrings that I thought 
made it look like a set. It's perfect, you guys. This dress feels like something you would wear for like your wedding. It's gorgeous. I have fallen in love with it. I was thinking about selling it. I'm keeping it now. It is mine. Um, let me know if you think I should take out the shoulder pads or not. The shoulder pads do feel really like Sophia Richie. If you're on TikTok at all, you'll know what I'm talking about. Moving on, you're gonna notice a theme in this haul, but I got these white pants. So yes, another white item. These are 100% cotton, and I don't really know what brand they are, but they were made in Canada. They've got these big pockets in the front, and then this nice like square kind of pattern throughout. These pants give me such coastal vibes, so I thought we would go with like a coastal look. And so I based what I'm wearing off a couple of photos from 80s Vogue. So anyways, I'm obviously wearing the pants and this gorgeous wool sweater over top. This is actually like vintage Hudson's Bay obviously with big hoops obviously with big sunglasses and white sandals this is such a cute outfit everything being oversized makes it feel very 80s the white makes it feel very 80s I just think it's actually really cute it's something that I would wear today it's very coastal granddaughter and I would recommend this song that you wear it's so comfy perfect for summer nights I love it and finally, the last thing we got is this gold belt. I was actually looking for like a chain belt like this a couple weeks ago, and I thought this was like a good opportunity to get one and try it out. This one has a really long chain though, so kind of like double it up um, so it's not dangling so much. I feel like that could be a safety issue. I couldn't find very many outfits where like the belt was like dangly like this. I did find a couple though, and one was on this jumpsuit, and so I thought I would use this jumpsuit that I thrifted a little while ago. It's also vintage, and it feels very 80s and then I wore it with like these black and gold loafers and big hoop. Gold, black, and white oversized are the things that you need to remember for like 80s. That is kind of the formula and that will get you an 80s outfit. <laughs> Talking about the belt itself, it's like squares and circles all linked together. I think I'll also be wanting to wear it like around my hips on like pants or like as like a drop waist on a dress. So that was everything I got. Let me know what your favorite piece was down in the comments below. If I had to choose a favorite, it would obviously be that lace dress. But anyways, leave a like on this video if you liked it and subscribe if you wanna see more videos. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I'll see you next time, bye.